With the decline of internal combustion engine sales worldwide, so have the sales of catalytic converters. In South Africa, platinum group metals are a key market for the production of catalytic converters. CEO of BMW Group South Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, Peter van Binsbergen, he says there is merit in looking into the future of the hydrogen economy and fuel cells as they also use PGMs. He says the country needs to focus on the next industry and technological openness. Key use is in fact um, switching to or the hydrogen economy. So a, a fuel cell electric vehicle is still an electric vehicle, but instead of having a huge battery, it has a, a fuel cell stack and they use platinum group metals. And you'll see that tomorrow we actually have a round table here talking exactly about how we stimulate this industry because there's no leading country in that yet and, and how we make South Africa maybe the world champion in this industry. And for using our, our platinum group metals here in South Africa and, and increasing our exports of those materials. Job creation and preservation remain central for the automotive industry, which accounts for 5.3% of the local GDP. Last month, BMW workers in Roslyn, Pretoria went on strike amid fraud allegations. While the strike has since been resolved and the impact on production was minimal, Van Binsbechen says having stable labor relations is key to having a stable production base. And when production is allocated to South Africa, we need to deliver on that production allocation and can't tell our parent company, sorry, we couldn't deliver, we had a strike. So we need to work together with labor constructively to make sure that we are the production location of choice. And indeed, you mentioned it, we did have some protest action at Plant Roslyn. Um, that protest action is passed. And what's important is that despite these protest actions, we still managed to have start of production of the, the new X3 plug-in hybrid as planned last week. And in fact, we have a car to show here today and we'll soon be exporting these cars to our customer markets exactly as we have committed to. Meanwhile, TransUnion's latest vehicle pricing index for the second quarter shows that the South African automotive market has adapted to economic challenges, showing strong demand for used vehicles and a rising interest in electronic vehicles driven by younger consumers and financial innovation. Diabosito, SAPC News, Cape Town.